Hey guys, what's up? My name is Namit and today our topic is how to create your own database into Android. Okay, so first let me tell you we have SQLite in Android. So the advantage of Realm is it is very similar to Java. Like it works like you are very, it is very difficult, uh, comfortable with Java. And instead SQLite which is very difficult using with Java and these kind of language because SQL is different thing and Java is different thing that is why we feel SQLite is a little bit different difficult and the realm is very easy so let me show you how this is easy so first of all this is the website of realm Android and I'm gonna put this link into description so from here what you need to do you need to copy this line and open your Android studio projects build out gradle and paste this here okay guys and this line copy this line and open your app modules build out cradle and paste this line here okay you don't need to put any dependency on app modules build out cradle okay so we were discussing how this is diff different with SQLite okay so you don't need to create this line like create table table name and your variables values and this and this okay how realm work it, it is work like model classes like you have model class of something then you can easily create database of that table of that model class you don't need to write any code for create table and blah 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 okay so for realm you have to initialize the realm in application class so create a application class and initialize this into here on create method okay and this is my model class okay as I told you I'm not creating any create table table name so I'm directly using this model class and realm will create that table of this model class automatically we don't know we don't need to know this this will do realm in the uh, in the back end so we don't need to know about that so here look what I am doing I have these three fields of this person I have a birthday birthday of this person name of this person and ID of this person okay and I am extending this class by realm object okay this is how we, we create table in realm okay now to get the data and enter the data in realm this is the way you can easily enter the data so this is how I am creating its subject and I am executing its transaction which wants new realm transaction and it is overriding this method execute and here what I am doing first of all I am checking the maximum ID of the person table now suppose if you have 10 right, ten persons in this table imagine it like a table or rows you have 10 rows so you want to put the 11th one into the 11th row and you want to give its id 11 ok so what I am doing here I am getting the maximum id here maximum id of that person ok maximum rows id so and here if this id is null I'm, that means we don't have any person in our table so I am saving I am I am storing one here and if we have some ID in else part then what I am doing I am creating next and I am adding one here okay so next person will have the uh, incremented ID of the previous one okay so here what I am doing I am just setting the data I am creating a object of person and I am setting the data of the person and I am inserting in realm ok check this it handles insert or update automatically we don't need to do anything special ok so this is this code is used to enter the data into our database simple and this code is used to get the data from the database and here I am what I am doing I am creating an object and here realm result person because I want persons realm where persons find all 
that means it will gonna give all okay and so I will get this is a list you can say so I will get everything in uh, every all persons in this object so here I am using a for loop and I am getting person one by one okay but if you want to do something like if you want to have some conditions like a person equals to okay and here name name equal to b now suppose okay now it will give you the name it will give you the persons whose name is b only okay now suppose if you have 10 use 20 persons and out of those 25 users name is b then you will get five results here okay so guys let me show you how this will work so this is very simple way of creating a database and SQLite is a very difficult way but SQLite is traditional way and this is more of a robust or you can say more of a uh, new technology than SQLite so first of all let me check and we will see the logs so let's check out the logs here okay mm. Okay, because we are passing B here now first let's remove this condition now check this now it will gonna give us AA twice because we are running application seven uh, second time and it will gonna enter this data second time okay it will gonna A it will gonna give us A twice look okay now let's do this thing 2 2 and B okay now check out this it will gonna give us A A B because now in the table we have 2 A and 1 B okay look now let's enter C and I'm gonna show you now in the next turn I'll gonna show you the where condition okay now it will gonna show us A A B C A A B C okay cool now let's check out this okay equals to name equal to B now it will gonna give us only B a A B and now this is all running second time so it will gonna give add one more C so A A B C C but we are getting only B here okay this is easy enough guys so if you want to create uh, applications with local database please use realm instead of SQLite so this is my recommendation guys uh, if you think this video is worth please uh, like the video and share the video and subscribe my channel and hit the bell and thank you guys thanks all bye bye